All right, welcome everyone, Eugene Hughes Motorized. Let me show you a better way to wire up your electric system here for your spark on your motorized bicycle, your little two-stroke here. So here are the connectors, all right? So we've got the connector which goes on the CDI, and then you've got the little connector which goes from your kill switch or your, uh, your magneto loop, and they are, are going to plug into these connectors here. Look at this. That's loose, okay? This is a brand new connector that I just cut off here, and they're loose. You're not going to get a good connection there. So, tell you what, let's go ahead and get rid of these connectors completely. Cut them off. Cut them off of the CDI, cut them off of the magneto loop, and cut them off of your kill switch wire here, okay? And what are we going to do? Well, you could use wire nuts to connect everything together or if you got you a soldering iron go ahead and solder everything up together um, I'm gonna show you a better way these guys right here these are Wago connectors okay and what you do and uh, I'm gonna give uh, props to my, my homie uh, got your beacons he's the one who uh, I had these laying around he's the one who uh, suggested this for these connections here and uh, force the issue for me to learn that you've got to raise these little levers all the way up and these are pretty tough to raise up I thought if you just popped them up like this you could then put the wires in these holes here and then you push this down to clamp it down no you've got to to tough it out and and put these boys all the way up here okay almost feels like you're gonna break it now there's two scenarios I want to cover here in doing this here scenario number one Let's get the kill switch over here. We got the kill switch wires here. You've got your two wires coming out of the engine. Of course, you did get rid of the white wire, right? Go in there and clip the white wire where it connects to the magneto and throw that sucker in the trash. We hate that. It's dead to us. If you uh, it, you can get six volts out of it, but it robs power from your spark, so we don't like it. Get rid of it, okay? So I've got the wires already stripped we're ready to go so scenario number one you've got your CDI mounted on the bike and the wires reach with plenty of room so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the black wire from your magneto loop and you push it in one of these here on your connector number one now any opening here these are all going to be connected together when you clamp it down okay so this will be uh, yep yeah. so any one that goes in there is going to be connected together so we're going to take the other black wire which comes from the CDI pop it in like that got the wrong one then we're going to take any wire from your kill switch. Matters not. The kill switch doesn't matter what color wire does what. As long as we've got one. And I boogered that up. Let's see here. Let's push that back in there correct. Good connection there. So from your kill switch, it really doesn't matter which wire goes to which. But to make things look nice and pretty, we're just going to take the black wire. push it in this one here snap it down and we are connected together there good now some of the quote unquote high performance magnetos or CDI's have a red wire that's the only difference they all have the black wire in common so it's going to be black to black and if you have a red wire on your magneto and a blue wire on your CDI the red and the blue will go together or red to red or whatever any combination they're about the black one is is what uh, what must stay together there okay so we're going to use our second connector here push that in that there and our other wire from the kill switch goes in there and we are wired up here it doesn't matter if these bad boys get wet whatever you're good to go they are reusable now here's another scenario what say that your wires 
aren't long enough to connect everything together that you have your wires coming from the engine and the wires from the CDI and there's a gap it's not long enough well, what we can do is we can splice in a longer wire and we'll also need two additional Wago connectors to make it work I'll show you how that would work so what we'll do is we will take a piece of wire push this wire in there so that is the black wire we're going to go to the black on the CDI we're going to take the red wire and that would go into the blue or the red wire for your CDI and then we've got to connect this one here to the magneto loop and we're good to go that is nice a clean efficient way to wire up your little motorized bike so what, what, what we've got here we have the black wire from the magneto loop it then goes to this connector here and then that connects to the black wire to your CDI and it matters not which wire from your kill switch is wired to either one of these all you're doing is when you press this button on your kill switch is it shorts these two wires together coming out of the uh, the engine and that kills the engine there okay so if you are interested you can get these Wago connectors they are Wago 222-413 Okay, you can get a box of 50 of these for about 25 bucks on Amazon. Now, if you don't want to spend that, I will sell you five of these and a two-foot piece of extension wire if you need to extend your wire and, uh, and make things reach. Check the link down below. I'll show you where you can buy these off of Amazon Direct or get them from me with the extension wire and save money over buying the big box there. If you found the video helpful, give me a big thumbs up. Hey, there's a subscribe notification button down there. I want to thank you for watching.